Now we are also able to trade up uh, finding the center of mass to 3D shapes as well. And that is a very basic extension of what we've been doing. So it's very easily adapted. Some of the compound shapes that you might have to deal with may include shapes that uh, we don't outright know where the center of mass is. Um, so if it deals with a cone or a pyramid or a hemisphere, for example, it's not obvious as to where that center of mass is. The center of mass of these shapes you are not expected to memorize. Okay? It will be given to you within the question, if required. So for a solid cone or a pyramid, the position of the center of mass is one quarter times h from the base. So from the base and the center of that circle, one quarter of the way up, one quarter h, sorry, of the way up um, to the top of the cone, that will be where your center of mass is. If the cone or pyramid is hollow, then it's not one quarter h, it's one third h. from the base. For a solid hemisphere, so at the center of your circular base, and then upwards if you've got it flat on the table, then it is 3 eighths times r from the base. If it's a hollow hemisphere, on the other hand, it is 1 half times r from the base. And finally, uh, a semicircular lamina. This one isn't so easy to remember. Um, this is 4r over 3 pi from the base. So from that point there, it is 4r over 3 pi uh, until you hit your center of mass, okay? So as I said, these are, you're not expected to memorize them, but they may be included in a question, and if they are, you'll be told the formula within the question in the exam.